Uh, Jeremy, so uh, just your thoughts on your performance tonight. Obviously very efficient. Uh, you guys get down early, had a good run there in the second quarter. And just your thoughts on what you saw tonight? Uh, yeah, I think it was an overall good game for us. Um, like you said, you know, we had a few times where um, we gave them the lead at early early in the game. But uh, I think we came, we went in at halftime and we talked about it. And we knew we had to pick up the energy, uh, pick up the pressure and things like that, physicality. And uh, we did that in the second half. I don't believe there's any animosity between you and the Pistons. I mean, I, I feel like that relationship ended amicably. But is there just any juice or something different about playing your old team, particularly that first time you do it? Uh, not really. I mean, you think about it, but um, it's not really like no bad blood or anything there. Uh, you're playing against your friends, people that you've been with for a few years. So, um, you know, uh, you just want to, you know, you want to play good. And I think that's kind of, I think people view it sometimes as like must be a negative thing. But you just mentioned you're playing against friends, people you know, like you, you want to play well against them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. How excited was everyone for Terry to get back out there tonight? Uh, extremely excited. Um, when I heard he was playing tonight, uh, I was excited. I mean, one of my best friends on the team. So, um, you know, just being able to see him get out there after, you know, being injured for so long uh, is exciting for me. Um, he adds another dynamic to our team uh, on the defensive end and on the offensive end because um, he knows how to play the game. Yeah, I mean, what, what do you think he kind of adds? What is he going to be able to do for this team now going forward? I mean, obviously, on the defensive end, defensive pressure, um, disrupting a lot of things, uh, shutting people down, um, and then offensively just – Smart. He knows where to be at on the court. He knows when to cut, when to set screens. He knows how to uh, get out of screens and roll and make plays. So. For you specifically, having had to take a lot of those, you know, big defensive assignments this season so far, what is it going to do for you to, to have somebody else out there that can, you know, take some of that stuff off your plate? Uh, I mean, it's going to be great. Like, I'm excited. I'm excited to uh, for him to get back and, you know, eventually get off the minute restriction. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for, um, for him to, you know, be able to guard guard the people with me um, and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I mean, you've kind of just taken us through uh, the offseason. Obviously, you get traded from the Pistons, and then there's some reporting that, you know, you and Damian Lillard obviously had a relationship that kind of went back. It's kind of, what were the emotions in that trade, and then how's it worked out for you? Because obviously, you're having a pretty strong team in this year at this point. Uh, I think any time you get traded, uh, initially, you, you kind of, you know, um, you feel a little weird because you, you're getting traded, right? Um, but after that wore off, uh, I was excited, excited about being here and uh, being able to be on a, in, in an organization like this and obviously be able to play with Dame, Ant, uh, Nurt, and a bunch of other great players. So, uh, no, nah, I, was, I was excited, and uh, I think it's, it's been great for me in my career. So. Obviously, not a lot of winning in Detroit a year ago. Then you got rich with Detroit Weaver, and then you're able to grow your game. Just sort of what stands out most about those two years and really just like what finally won? Uh, I think it was a, a very important step in my career um, in order to, like, I think for me, just going there and being able to, to kind of spread my wings and show people what I can do, um, not just on the defensive end, but also on the offensive end. Um, I think it opened a lot of people's eyes, and uh, and yeah, I'm just going from there. So I'm extremely grateful for for uh, Detroit, Detroit. So. Were you able to kind of catch up with some teammates tonight, and you know, kind of just reflect on those two years before or after the game? Uh, yeah, I talked to uh, a bunch of them before the game, um, a bunch of them after the game. Talked to Troy before the game. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I was I'm grateful for that uh, for that for those steps in my life. So. Uh, what you say? What are your impressions of their team and what did you think of that with the offense? Uh, they're good. They're good. Uh, extremely talented. Um, you can tell that they're talented. They're still young. Um, they gotta they gotta grow with experience, and they're gonna get a lot of it there. So um, I think uh, they got a lot of potential. Jeremy, obviously this uh, season has been a marathon with how often you guys have been out on the road. Uh, how is how are you gonna be able to keep your focus on this upcoming last road trip? Uh, it's just part of the game. Um, the longer you play in the NBA, the more you understand that 
um, there's going to be times where you're you're home for long long stretches, and there's times where you're on the road for long stretches. So, um, you know, this just comes with being a vet and understanding that, um, you know, the game it, it comes in waves. So.